Hey guys, this is Ron. So I wanted to do a real quick video about uh, HSRP as I've had a couple of questions about it recently. So what is HSRP and uh, how do we implement it? Those are, the, those are the big questions. So HSRP is going to allow us to get some uh, extra redundancy out of our network. So if you look at, uh, at what you've got before you, I've got two layer th two switches and two layer three switches. Okay, with these redundant connections here, uh, we're going to have to implement spanning tree. Okay, so spanning tree is going to enable us to add physical connections uh, without creating a loop. Okay, so we're going to have to address that in this network. But then we also want to add some redundancy when it comes to some, some of the logical connections. Okay, so if I had hosts down here, let's say they're using VLAN 1. Okay, so typically they're going to have their IP, but they're also going to have a gateway IP. And that gateway IP typically points to either a sub interface on a router or an interface VLAN on a layer 3 switch. Okay, and that's how we're going to uh, allow them to talk in between VLANs, basically. Um, so how do we do that? When I've got two layer 3 switches, which switch do I put that interface VLAN on? Because if I put that same interface VLAN with the same IP on both of them, I'm going to have an IP conflict. Well, the way that I do that is by implementing HSRP, the Hot Standby Routing Protocol. Uh, and the way that I do that is they're going to have an interface VLAN 1, but they're going to be different IPs. But what's going to be shared between them is, is a group IP, basically. And it's that group IP that my hosts will use as their gateway. Okay, so to my hosts, they don't see it any different. But up here, as I implement it, basically the interface VLANs are going to use uh, HSRP to talk back and forth. And if one of these switches becomes unavailable, the other switch will take over servicing that VLAN. Okay, so let's jump into it. Uh, the configuration is really super simple. You just got to be cognizant or, or thinking about a couple of things as you implement it. So I'm going to jump in. Uh, HSRP really isn't supported uh, by Packet Tracer. So I've got uh, real switches. And what we'll do, jump in. Uh, this is one of my layer 2 switches, so I just wanted you to see that there's nothing special going on here. If I do a show spanning tree, VLAN uh, 1, what you'll find is I am not the root bridge, okay, because I have a higher priority number than the root. And I'm running rapid spanning tree. Rapid spanning tree uh, is a lot faster than uh, the default per VLAN spanning tree. So I have a higher priority and so I am no I am not the root, which is what you want. Okay? There's nothing else that I really have to care about too much uh, on the layer two switches. So if I jump up to one of my layer three switches, what we'll see if I do a show span VLAN one, this one is also not the root. Okay, but it has a slightly lower priority than what the layer two switches had. Okay, and the way that I did that is uh, I did a spanning tree, VLAN one, and I can do it in two ways. I can either just tell it a priority number, or I can tell it uh, root, primary, or secondary. So in this case, all I did was told it root secondary, and it gave it a slightly lower uh, priority number than the default, but not as low as the one that I told it it was a root primary. Okay? So that's the first thing we set up, is to make sure spanning tree is working the way we want it to. So in setting it up, I've basically told this one, hey, you're not going to be the root unless something happens to my other switch. Okay? Now, if I do a show 
run interface VLAN 1, this is the VLAN that I added HSRP to. It starts out looking like anything else. I just have a regular old IP address. So this one is 10.0.0.252. But here's where we start to see some odd commands. Okay, this is standby 1 IP 10.0.0.254. Basically what this is saying is there's going to be a standby IP which is 10.0.0.254. If you want to think of it as the group address, that'll help you. And then this 1 is the group number. So I want to make sure that this matches on my other switch. That this exact command is on my other switch. Okay, standby 1 IP 10.0.0.254. So basically this 254 address is the address that my hosts will use as their gateway. Standby 1 preempt. Now what this means is HSRP if the active switch uh, becomes unavailable, then I'm going to switch over to my standby switch. Okay? Now, if my original active switch becomes available again, if I don't have preempt turned on, I'm not going to switch back to using him as the active. Meaning, I will continue to be active until this switch also crashes. Now you don't really want that because you want to make sure that HSRP is in sync with what spanning tree is doing. So spanning tree is going to reconverge. Every time if, if my one switch goes down, spanning tree is going to reconverge and move to the other, uh, move, change the other switch to be the root bridge. So people are going to point to that switch. So you want the same kind of functionality in HSRP. You want them to mimic each other. Now, we talked about a lower priority uh, in spanning tree becomes a root bridge. So that's kind of layer two and below. Once we move up to layer three, the higher priority wins out. So if you want to think about layer two is lower, so the lower uh, lower priority wins out, layer 3 is higher, so the higher priority wins out. If you keep that in your mind, you'll, you'll be straight here. So if I do a show standby, brief, what I'll see is for VLAN 1, group 1, I'm using priority 100, which is the default. That's why you don't see it up here. And because of that, I am in standby mode. The active address, the switch that's active for this VLAN, is 10.0.0.253. I am 252, the active is 253. The standby address is my local address. And the group address that we're working with is 254. So again, this is the address that my hosts are pointing to. So if I jump over to my other layer 3 switch, Oops, not VLAN 2, how about VLAN 1? What I see here, spanning tree, this is the root because it has the lower priority because I told it it is root primary. And when I do a show uh, standby brief, I have a priority of 200, which is higher than my other switch. And because of that, I am active. So the active address is my local address, which is the 253 address. The standby address, 252, which is this switch down here. And we're working with group address 254. All right. Show run VLAN 1. How about show run interface VLAN 1? What I see is this same exact command here. Standby 1 IP address. 250 or 10.0.0.254. I gave it a higher priority number and turned preemption on. Okay? So nothing nothing real difficult there. You just have to remember that on the layer two side, the lower priority wins out. On the layer three side for HSRP, 
the higher priority wins out. So what I should see then, uh, do a config T, we'll test it out, interface range FA0 slash 224. So these are my trunk ports. And if I come to my layer 2 switch, and I'll go ahead and do a ping to 254. So this is that group IP that everyone is using. So this is what I would use for my uh, gateway address. I'm going to ping it 10,000 times. So it should start screaming along. So if I go back to my switch and I shut, what I should see is I start dropping pings and then as spanning tree and HSRP reconverge, it picks back up. Okay, so if I look on my switch, what I see is that there was a state change for standby. I went from standby to active. If I do a show spanning tree, VLAN 1, so I became the root because spanning tree reconverged. and I became active. All right. The standby address is unknown because it's unreachable at this point. And again, I'm using the 254 address. Now if I bring up, uh, let's see, my layer 3 here again, so we'll do a no shut. What I should see is that on my layer 3, I should go through another state change. And I did standby state change I went from active to speak now there's a couple uh, modes I think I have to go through to get uh, get there I just don't remember what they are offhand but basically I'm no longer the root bridge and I'm now in standby for VLAN 1 Okay, so that's what you want. You want uh, HSRP and span and tree to be linked up like that, where they're both moving together. All right, and that's it. So we've we've configured it up and we've tested it. Span and trees uh, moving where we want it to, and HSRP is moving where we want it to. So I hope you kind of see. Uh, why you have to kind of work the two together. Uh, but I also want you to see the, the, the power uh, of this kind of functionality in your network. So thanks for watching. Again, I hope you got something out of it. And uh, take it easy.